Welcome everybody to Online Jewelry Point, a site which not, where not only we can buy jewelry but also learn about HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap, Model, Carousals and Spring Boot Camp that is the Java framework and also learn about SQL and so much more. So let's get started Online Jewelry Point. On the very first page, I would like you to introduce to the various JavaScript functionalities that, that really awes me. That, that is just wow, you know, just hover around it and you see so many fun stuffs happening. So that is animated JavaScript for you. And we can have all sort of CSS, JavaScript, uh, bringing HTML, that is the web into action. So here's different styles you can have on hover and different CSS that brings you so much of color and style and passion. Now, after seeing this beautiful HTML effects, let's see how, what we can choose and what we can do in this side. And also let you know this is a responsive site. So any change in the size, if I go from from this size to this size it will be the same so it is a complete responsive website now let's go and see how we can and what we can do in the site so do you want to just explore without logging in or you want to log in or you want to register as a new user so let's log in and see what we can do so here is our first login and let's see so here's the dashboard of all the products that we have so let me uh, center it so that you can see it properly so here we have all the products, but all the products, how do you know which one do you want to know, which you want to buy and search? So let's do some Ajax work. So if you have some, say, say product name called love, you want to search for it, you get the product name love and go back. You want to search by description. So let's choose description. And then we can do, do you want a necklace? You want a ring? What do you want? Let's choose a ring and see how many rings does this store have. So it has quite some rings. But let's go and buy some solid products. So first, I would like to buy this Ocean Heart. It looks really beautiful. So I add it to my cart. And then I want to shop a little more. I want to get some joy. I'm in one part of joy. So I have joy and I want to shop still more. Let's go to eternity and I add it to my cart. So now and I change my mind that I feel that joy is a little expensive for me. So I can remove it from my cart if I want. And then when I'm done, I see that the price, let me move a little bit. My, the price is $548.99. So let me buy this is in my range so I can do the purchasing and get all these goodies so here uh, i have logged out and these are my recently bought products so and then i want to see from the admin's point of view as well so let me log in let me log in as an admin this time not as a user but as an admin so i use my admin i let i made a mistake i oh sorry 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 a d m i n so I log in as admin and let's first go to order management system. Here I can see the name, date, ordered by, address, status, everything that an admin would love to see in the management system. Back then, let, let, after that, let's go back to product management system where I see all the products I saw as a user that I could buy but <clears throat> with more details because this time I have image, products, description, price also the inventory control the quantity that has been sold and quantity that is in stock and i also see the category and i see here that i have all the categories i can search by the available uh, whatever i want to see if i want to see diamond and i submit i see all the products that are only in diamond now let me go back and if i see all I have all the products that are available. So what if I want to change the product price of Marvel from 99 to 69 so that I give a discount to my users. So let me go here and I change it to from 99 to 69 and I submit it. So I see that the price has changed to 69. So these are the, the work and of course the privileges of an administrator. And there's so much more that we can do with the site. But presently I want to see, show you something even more interesting. Because as a tester, developer, user, as any in any role, we need to make sure that our uh, website is running properly every day. So if for that purpose, we can't, we cannot and we should not do manual testing. But if we can automate it, that will be fun, isn't it? So here's Selenium 
for automation testing. I have done a script which does all the work that I recently did. So let's see how it works. And here I have put my hands up and we can see how the automation test works with Selenium. It will do exactly what I did manually, but this being automated, it runs without any manual interference. The best part of this is the scripting the installation is pretty easy and it goes well with Java code and especially with Spring Boot uh, framework. But uh, the, the drawback of Selenium IDE will be that it doesn't give you a um, web-based report. But if we use JUnit or TestNG, that will be uh, catered to that we can get web-based report of our testing. If there's a failure, the images of all our uh, test results will be given. But I'll, I'm still working on it. Once it works out, that will be given in my next uh, video. But for the time being, uh, I showed you what's HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Spring Boot models, Java, and how we made models, repository services, even controller, everything that goes behind to make a successful e-commerce website and that was it for my project. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.